the Caribbean, one of the world's greatest centers for endemic species and biodiversity. Local environmental and small community-based groups are playing a critical role in protecting and conserving this biodiversity by promoting sustainable livelihoods. Jamaica, Haiti and the Dominican Republic are reaping the benefits of this approach. In Jamaica, the Southern Trelawney Environmental Agency, STEO, works to conserve and protect the Coptic country. All the species of Jamaican plants can be found in Coptic country. All the habitats of all the rare fauna, lizards, frogs, bird species are here. This is the Martha Bray. The river is one of the five major rivers that flow out of cockpit country and supply the entire western part of Jamaica with fresh drinking water which is ready to drink right now. The Caribbean Coastal Area Management Foundation, CCAM, promotes sustainable development and coastal conservation in the Portland Bight area. Within the Portland Bight protected area, there are a number of important flora and fauna. Some of those include the iguana and the crocodile, as well as other plant species. In the Dominican Republic, key biodiversity areas support the full range of Caribbean ecosystems and populations of 50 globally threatened species. Rebaruco is one of the hotspots most important that has the Republic of Dominican. Another of the great importance that the Sierra de Bauruco is that it is within the Reserve of the Biosphere. And it is a place where the biodiversity and the different ecosystems of the island confluence. In the Park National Mountain Alumiadora, we have a rich biodiversity. There are many endemic plants. Eh, fundamentalmente de cotorra, de perico dentro del parque y poblaciones que se están monitoreando de los anfibios de la familia Ilide que son eh, endémicos del país. But the fragile ecosystems of the islands are under threat. If we look at the planning policies within Jamaica, sometimes we're saying that um, a development is more important than conserving the environment. Estas amenazas son varias, principalmente la extracción de maderas, la realización de carbón, el, la recolección de pichones de cotorra. In Haiti, 99% of the original forest cover has been lost, leaving unique species at risk in key biodiversity areas. For the person who has been in the forest, in the forest, we have 32 million years. Because we are here, 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 we are here. From this, we are here, and we are here, 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 we are here. Et forme tout ça dans 32 000 hectares de terre qu'on y a là, pas qu'à jeune, on s'y mille bien reboisé dans terre. Parce que ouais, spécialement qu'on y a là, où t'as pris de l'eau, t'as pris de l'eau, t'as pris de l'eau, c'est fait pour faire. Et spécialement, ça rend que, et les consacres, nous avons l'appli, et ça rend que nous avons désolosement, en pile, en pile, en pile, en pile. Mais rêve, nous, objectif, nous, comme nous, nous-mêmes, en tant qu'organisation, c'est à reboiser pour être des pieds en métal. Local organizations are educating the community on the impact of deforestation and engaging them in reforestation efforts. In the Dominican Republic, local organizations join forces with international agencies like the Critical Ecosystem Partnership Fund CEPF, to improve the management of key biodiversity areas. When CPF patrocina a estas casi 19 projects y un tanto como más de 12 organizaciones aquí en la República Dominicana, estamos promoviendo de que la gente conserve para sí misma. The Caribbean Coastal Area Management Foundation, CCAM, assists members of the community 
to engage in income generating activities through alternative livelihoods so that they can continue to survive in a changing environment. We have had conservation officers and worked with the community to create fish sanctuaries. We're also working with other persons in terms of doing environmental education and we have trained some of the fishermen along with some community persons as tour guides and as um, boat operators. In order to improve the biodiversity of the cockpit country, STAIR seeks to decrease livelihood activities that are destructive while providing alternative income generating opportunities for community members. Yam production in cockpit country on the southeastern side for the most part on gentle to steep slopes. So we have mitigated by introducing the establishment of vegetative barriers across the slope to prevent the soil from running down. We have started an ecotourism program that is both ecological tourism and community tourism. And what it is, is it looks at caves. It provides an income for the community through the amount of people who are employed, who service the product. The Cockpit Country Local Forest Management Committee allows the people of the Cockpit Country communities to take charge of their own environment. I am a tour guide. We have 14 certified tour guides from the TD Pico office here. This is the visitor center, which part we deal with our ecotourism system. We have this as a sustainable livelihood project to generate jobs. In Jamaica, Haiti and the Dominican Republic, local groups encourage best practices and sustainable livelihoods, bringing people together to protect and conserve their environment. <laughs>